Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine derivatives on the TA-89 graphing calculator. The derivative function is located under the Calculus menu. To access the Calculus menu, we press F3. So let's go ahead and press F3. Notice differentiate is the first option. So we can either press 1 or press Enter. I'm going to go ahead and press 1. The sequence that we enter is the function, comma, the variable, close parenthesis. So let's go ahead and enter in function f of x. So we'll enter 2x raised to the power of 3 minus, we need to be careful about entering in this fraction. We'll enter 5 divided by, and now we need the denominator in parentheses. So open parenthesis 2x raised to the power of 2, close parenthesis. Without these parentheses, only the 2 would be in the denominator. And then we have plus natural log x. So we'll enter plus second x brings up natural log. Then we need to enter x, close parenthesis. And then we have plus 7 cube root of x squared. To enter a cube root of x squared, though, we'll have to use a rational exponent. The cube root of x squared is equal to x raised to the power of 2 thirds. So we'll enter x and the exponent key. We need the fractional exponent in parentheses, so open parenthesis, 2 divided by 3, close parenthesis. So there's the function f of x, comma, the variable is x, so we enter x, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how here is our derivative function. f prime of x is equal to 6x squared plus 14 divided by 3x to the power of 1 third plus 1 over x plus 5 divided by x cubed. Looking at our next function, notice how we have a function of t. So let's go through this process again. We can access the derivative function from the home screen as well. Notice how right above the 8, there's a d, which is a derivative function. So we could press second 8, which again brings up the derivative function, instead of going to the calculus menu. And now we'll enter the function. So we have negative 3 open parenthesis, 2t to the fifth minus 8. So 2, here's the t, raised to the power of 5 minus 8, close parenthesis, this is raised to the fourth power, comma, the variable is t, close parenthesis, and enter. So g prime of t is equal to negative 960t to the fourth times the quantity t to the fifth minus 4, raised to the third power. Next we have h of x equals 3 times tangent squared of x cubed. We need to be careful when entering trig functions and powers. We cannot enter them in in this form here. So let's access the derivative function. Let's go back to the calculus menu for review. So f3 and then number 1. So we're going to enter 3. And then because tangent is squared, we'll have an open parenthesis and then tangent, which is second t, and we have tangent of x cubed, so x raised to the power of three, close parenthesis, another close parenthesis, and again, the tangent function is squared, so here's where we enter, raised to the power of two. So this is how we enter the given function h of x, comma, the variable is x, close parenthesis, and enter. So here's our derivative function, h prime of x. Remember though, trig functions can also be expressed in different forms using our trig identities. Finally, for our last example, we have a quotient. We have j of x. So we'll press F3, number one. When entering rational functions, we do need to set a parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So this open parenthesis is for the derivative. So we need another open parenthesis for the numerator, and then we have 4x raised to the power of 3 minus e raised to the power of x. So we'll press diamond x, which brings up e raised to the power of x, close parenthesis for the exponent on e, another close parenthesis for the numerator, divided by open parenthesis 3x squared minus 1, close parenthesis, there's the function, comma, x, close parenthesis, and enter. So here's j prime of x 
notice how there's this arrow here on the right, which means the derivative function continues to the right. So let's press up, and then if we arrow to the right, we can see the entire derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.